Hey guys, it's Lisette here. Lately, I feel like it's been pretty hard for me to find the motivation to actually do my hair. Like typically, it looks like this. And so that has inspired today's video. I thought it would be really fun to try out a new curly hairstyle every day this week. Also, a huge thank you to Nexus for sponsoring today's video. I feel like I used to do a lot more curly hairstyles back in the day, and then I just kind of got lazy. But there's a lot of new cute trending hairstyles, so I'm super excited for today's video to try to test them out on my hair and see what they look like. And so with all that being said, let's wash this hair. It needs some treatments, it needs some help. Let's go. I definitely wasn't exaggerating when I said my hair needs some serious TLC. I mean, look how super tangled my hair is. For today's wash day, I'm using all products from the new Nexus Curl Define line. This is their first ever curl range specifically crafted for curly hair, which is super exciting. We love inclusivity. And these products were created for hair types 3A to 4C. I'm starting off with the pre-wash treatment. This is a really thick and creamy product that you want to apply onto your wet hair. I'm using this before I shampoo and I'm just splitting my hair in sections just so that it's easier and I'm using like a pretty good chunk per section and just finger detangling. What I love about this is that it really helps to just melt away all my tangles. While creating these products, Nexus actually discovered that the proteins in curly and straight hair are actually different. Specifically, proteins like glycine and serine amino acids actually appear two to six times greater in curly hair than straight hair. All the products are infused with an exclusive protein fusion blend of silk protein, and these products are specifically proven to help restore curl strength from within. You wanna leave this on for a good five minutes, so I'm just doing the rest of my routine, washing my body, shaving. Then moving on to shampoo and conditioner. I'm also using the Curl Define shampoo and it's super creamy, but what I love is that even though it suds, it's sulfate free. And like all their products, it's infused with marula oil, which helps to really moisturize your curls. So I'm just making sure to really target my roots, massaging in the shampoo just to really get my scalp clean. I've been using the shampoo for, I would say about the past month or so, and it never leaves my hair stripped and it never over dries my curls. And next, I'm following up with the conditioner, and this is probably my favorite product from the line because it's just so super easy to just comb through my tangles, and it always leaves my hair really soft. By the way, all these products are available at major drugstores and mass retailers at a really affordable price point. If you're interested in trying the Nexus Curl Define line, then make sure to visit nexus.com to learn more. But after using all these products, my hair feels really soft and moisturized, so it's like the perfect base for all these hairstyles that I'm about to do this week. Alrighty, so I'm fresh out of the shower. Well, not fresh out of the shower. I took a little bit of time to do my makeup. Let's see what we're working with. I had my hair in the towel for like at least 30, 40 minutes. I have this castor oil water, and so I'm just gonna wet my hair just to get it damp again because, you know, my hair definitely dried up a little bit. And for my leave-in conditioner, I'm using this one also from Nexus. Get about this much and just coat my hair. And I like how this just moisturizes my hair and I can just comb through my curls. I haven't seen everywhere girls do this really cute hairstyle where they have like two pieces in the front and then also having two pigtails or braids right on the side and having the rest down. So that's what we're gonna do for today. It's almost like doing half up, half down. And I typically take hair from the ear. So I have my top portion, secure that and work on the back. I'm applying my styling products and I like to use a gel. Now I'm gonna move on to the top. Split this section in half. I'm gonna tie this side up so that I don't have to worry about it. I'm gonna take a triangle out from the front. I'm gonna take my brush, I'm gonna dip it in some gel. I'm gonna do my edges. I'm gonna take one of these clear little bands and tie my hair into a little ponytail. Please don't break, please don't break. One ponytail down. I'm gonna wet this little piece, get a little bit more gel. I'm splitting this into three, and then I'm just gonna do a regular three strand braid. And just twirling the bottom to create a little curl. For this section, I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna wet it, apply a little bit of gel, and I'm gonna do a three strand braid. So now this is what we got, and I'm just gonna do the exact same onto the other side.
So we got my two braids and then I just need to do this last little braid in the front. I don't know, I might have done this side a little bit better than my last side. I'm redoing this braid because I really liked how I did this one underhand and so I want to do this one underhand too. I feel like it looks a lot sleeker. Alright, I have my two pieces in the front, I have my two braids. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my gosh. I love this hairstyle. I'm like in love with this. This is the final hairstyle. What it's looking like. Of course, my hair is still wet, but oh my gosh, I am in love right now. This is what it looks like with my hair pulled to the front. And so I definitely have to say Monday's hairstyle is 100% a success. I feel like my hair looks super cute. I can't wait to see what it looks like when it dries. It's gonna be hard to beat this one. Hairstyle number two, I just took a shower, my hair is wet, I wanted to get all that gel kind of like out of my hair, only to put more gel in my hair. I'm gonna take my hair out, I'm gonna part my hair down the middle. I finally have my part, and so I'm gonna section from this middle section all the way down. And now I'm left with these two pieces. I'm gonna wet both sections. I'm gonna apply a little bit of leave-in conditioner. And just really smooth it over my hair. And now that each section is tangle free, I'm just putting some gel on my brush and kind of brushing in the gel. And just smooth it behind my ear. And then behind me, connect the pieces with a hair tie. Okay, so now I have this like little ponytail situation back there. With my edge brush, I'm gonna really slick everything down and kind of do my edges. I'm gonna style the rest of my hair, wet it, and put product in it, and I'm gonna be back to show you guys the final look. This is today's hairstyle. I love this. Like, I wonder how it's gonna look when it's dry though, but I feel like this just gives like a sleekness. I love any hairstyle where the hair is out of my face. I usually don't like to wear my hair wet in public, but I feel like I could actually have my hair wet because it looks cute. But this is Tuesday's hairstyle, and I don't know, I really love Monday's hairstyle, but this one's definitely up there too. But also, I have this bag full of like really colorful clips. I found ones that match my shirt. So that's an option, I don't know. I don't wanna mess up my hair. I kinda like it plain, so I'm not gonna add them, but just in case, you know? It's a little bit later in the day. I wanted to show you guys what my hair looks like fully dried, but I just overall really love this hairstyle. I feel like it's super cute, super versatile. I also feel like my hair is like at the perfect length right now for this to actually look cute on me. If my hair was any shorter, like I just don't, I don't think that it would really look that good on my face shape. Now, since my hair kinda has some hang to it and it's kinda like, you know, collarbone length. I feel like it definitely looks better that way. This is kind of like how my hair is looking from yesterday's hairstyle. And so for today's style, it's great because I already have this section already sectioned off. I got my water. I'm just going to spray these sections, kind of reactivating the curls, reactivating the gel. I saw this really cute picture where this girl had her whole front section in twists. And so... That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do three sections on each side. So we'll do one here. I really wanna try to get the parting right because you're definitely gonna see the parts. This is my first section. I'm also gonna apply a little bit more leave-in conditioner, just like, just like a little bit per section. And then each section, I'm just going to do a simple two-strand twist. And this is giving the illusion that like, you braided your hair, but you didn't kind of thing, you know? Now I have all my sections, and as you can see, my hair definitely needs some product in it. I'm also refreshing my back section because I feel like it was looking a little bit on the drier side. I'm just adding a little bit of my castor oil water and some gel right on top. And so this is hairstyle number three for Wednesday. This is some up and some down, but with a twist, quite literally. 
a twist. But I love hairstyles like this because it lets me not use any heat on my hair and I can just naturally let my hair air dry. I love the twist here. I just feel like it kind of gives the some up and some down, just like a little bit of just something different. But what would be really cute is having colored bands. I don't know where mine are. Like I have like a whole thing of just like colored rubber bands. It would be really cute maybe if I had like blue ones with like my blue shirt. So this is Wednesday's hairstyle and I'm gonna come back tomorrow to show you guys Thursday. Today's Thursday, my hair is looking absolutely crazy. I tried styling it earlier and I just kept touching it. This is kind of where we're at with the hair. I'm actually loving the volume. So I'm just gonna try to do something. I'm gonna split my hair down the middle and then I'm gonna section off a piece in the front. And then I'm just gonna tie the back just to get it out of the way. And then I'm just gonna braid each section down, but I'm not gonna braid over. I'm actually gonna braid under and do the exact same thing to this side. And I just kind of quickly did my edges. I'm taking these pieces and I'm gonna tie them behind my head with a clear elastic. And for the rest of my hair, I'm gonna continue the part back just a little bit further. I'm just gonna section off this piece right up at the top and make a cute little pigtail. I'm just gonna do the same on this side. This is what we have so far. So I'm gonna take each section, twist it, and create a little teeny tiny bantu knot. Again, with another little elastic. I'm just gonna tie it around twice, and I'm just gonna twist this side, and try to get it to match. I feel like this turned out so cute. Like, I wasn't really sure what to do for today's look. I love the headband. It kind of gives like the hair a little like, something different. I feel like I worked with the frizz, you know? Like I feel like this is very like boho vibes. So this is Thursday's hairstyle and I'll see you guys tomorrow for Friday. You know those days where you're like, I'm just gonna do natural makeup today, like not really even wear makeup. That's what I thought today was and then now I'm looking like this. But we've made it to Friday, hallelujah. This is a lot of hairstyles. I kind of miss the bun, I kind of miss just throwing my hair up. Don't get me wrong, I've been feeling super cute this week, but you know, doing a new hairstyle, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of effort. I took a shower, I wet my hair. I'm gonna start by sectioning my hair right here, like this whole chunk in the front. This is a pretty good chunk. And I'm just gonna part this kind of at my crown. I have my section. I'm gonna tie off the rest of my hair. My edges do not come from my edges, please. I'm going to part this right down the middle. So I have my part, it's not perfect. I cannot get it perfectly straight for the life of me. I'm sectioning the side away, just so I'm not like worried about it. With this section, I'm just gonna split it in half. I have my two sections. I'm gonna clip this piece out the way. I'm gonna use some gel all around the perimeter, really get it sleek, and I'm just going around the little section a few times with the band and then tightening it. And I'm just doing the exact same thing on this side. Right now I have these two pieces. Twist them both, cross them, and connect them. So I'm gonna start with one at a time. This section is gonna connect to this section, so I'm going to apply the gel, twist it, and connect it to this piece and just secure it. So as you can see, that gave like a really cute effect. It has this cross going over, and so I'm gonna do the same with this one and this one and cross them over. And this is how it looks. I feel like it looks so cute. For the rest of my hair, I'm just gonna wet my hair real quick. The spray bottle, I just feel like it's just gonna take way too long, so let me do it real quick and come right back. And this is the final look. I'm so happy with how this turned out. I am literally in love with this. You see the difference actually styled hair makes? Like before my hair was looking crazy, but then when I actually styled my hair, now I can see like this hairstyle is actually super cute. This is what the parting looks like. If anything, this video has taught me, Lisette, you need to kind of step up your game with your hairstyle. Especially as my hair is getting longer, I'm feeling a lot more motivated to do new things. But yeah, this is the final look. I'm super excited. I loved making this video. This was super fun. If I had to pick my favorite hairstyle, I would say it would probably either be Monday or Friday. Let me know down below which one was your favorite hairstyle.
But another huge thank you to Nexus for sponsoring today's video. I seriously loved how their curl define line helped prep my hair for all these hairstyles. It added moisture and a bunch of shine to my curls. Alrighty guys, we come to the end of this video. I hope that you all enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next video.